Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Cool. <laughs> but anyway, this is my question. Is lyricism dead? No. Well, it depends what you consider lyricism, but nah, there's no way it's dead. Especially when you got, to me, like like we were saying, I only love my bed and my mom, I'm sorry. That's lyrics, bro. Like, that's lyrics I like to hear. Now, if you, now are we talking about metaphors, lyrically? Like, because there's still people doing that, too. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so they're definitely so- not dead. It's not what it used to be, but the people that, that used to be doing it, I think are still doing it. Okay, somewhat. so I got a question. So... I guess let me let me let me point this question a little bit more point buoyant. So my question is if you think if an artist came in here and said, I wanna get on the radio, okay? I wanna have a number one hit, okay? Would you tell him to rap a, a thousand bars with a hook and a, a something else? Or would you tell him to get on one of them double time beats and, and try to woe to it? And, and, and snap your fingers. No, I wouldn't tell him neither of those. I would tell him do what you feel because right. okay. don't follow the next man, bro. Because I'm tired of hearing that shit. Right. I'm tired. Okay. Okay. I'm tired Hold of on. hearing. Now, this is no offense to anybody that comes here and does this because you, you definitely people come up with hot songs. But I'm tired of hearing a Polo G type beat, bro. And somebody trying to sing on that shit like Polo G. Like, Hold like on. I it, that's you. cool. But like, I'd rather see somebody come come with a beat that's not like the new hottest out right now, and do their own shit that they feel on it, and not follow the script. You see, know what I, I'm I, like, I like the way you said that because if Eminem was sitting right here, I feel like he would have said the same thing you just he said. probably would have. But and he's probably doing what he feels too. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he's big enough to be able to put so out my and everybody yeah, listens so, to. So, it. but but my question is, Jay Z. We're going to go back to Jay-Z. Jay-Z said a classic line, and it was, I dumbed down for my audience and doubled my dollars. They right. criticized me for it, but they all yell holler. Skill right. set, truth be told, I'll probably be lyrically Talib Kweli. Right. So basically what he was saying in that is like, I adapted to what y'all were doing over here. I could spit all day. Like, I could chop shit down. I could rap like Talib Kweli. I could rap like Cannabis, Big L, whoever you want to want to call it. But I sat down, dumbed down, made a hit, and then did what I wanted to do. But so when he was, dumbed it down, though, he didn't wasn't doing what anybody else was doing. Well, granted, he was better than like, but like he right. get, when he said that he gave us fucking blueprint. No cap. You know what I'm saying? No cap. And he didn't dumb down blueprint. He said, I got to make this song cry. And get... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, like, yes. Hey, he did what he felt, bro. Right. So I don't know if he came out with Blueprint before he said that or not. No, nah, but... that was Blueprint 1. So, you know what I'm saying? And he he did. Yo, there's so many. That's like my favorite Actually, album. Actually, I think that song. Uh, and, and it's not dumbed down. Been like, been like been you could never say honest. Blueprint is dumbed down. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think he got one fucking. Dumb album. Dumb <laughs> <laughs> no, but not even like a trendy song on there for the time. Like, well, see, the times you know are different. What I'm see, but it, that's because I think YouTube changed the game a lot as far as the way that music goes. Because all the all the artist really does nowadays is type in the person's type beat that they want to that they want. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, like, like I said, Polo G type beats. That's what a lot of people are doing right now because. That's what people like to hear. Right. You know what I'm saying? So the game is kind of staying more stagnant because of that. You know right. what I'm saying? And I mean, I think there's no, I think way, ways we could change that is like artists working with with their own producer instead of finding a tight beat. You know what I'm saying? And then y'all create a sound together and it is going to be something that that'll change the game. You know what I mean? Look at Drake, bro. Yeah. When Drake first came out, he had that underwater sound, bro. And and that's 40 and Drake, bro. You're you know talking what I'm too deep for him. So now it's my turn for the right, deep well, dive. But you know, but that shit's real though. You know it's what I'm real. saying? Like right, that's how on. you create a new sound. Deep dive you know what I'm time from Checkmate TV. <clears throat> Fuck okay. it. We need to you got me a sound right, of the Shout bro. out Wagon. <laughs> deep dive time. And it's time but, for OG knowledge. That's what I'm gonna start calling this. Ready? Most artists that blow up have a producer. 
the reason why they have a producer, they created their own sound. That's why they blew up. Facts. Meek Mills, Jalil Beats, Drake 40, it list goes on. At okay. Tay, Tay Keith and uh was it baby? Yeah, all well, them dudes. Uh the baby and Jetson. Yeah. They and, got that uh, box. Fabio shit. Foreign and Axel. Axel. <laughs> right. So nah, yeah, that's the man. way it, that's the way it goes. The reason why it goes like that I'm is gl- because I'm they glad this conversation's own. going here too. Right. This means a lot to me being a producer. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So what happens is a producer and an artist find a sound that works. Um, you know, they find a sound that works. And believe it or not, you could go to any studio and, and knowledge is so vast in the music industry that a lot of people, no matter how you explain it, if you can't explain it exactly correctly, they won't be able to recreate what you got going on. So being that they won't be able to create what you got going on, you have to stick with your 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 producer that has your sound. And when you stick with your producer that has your sound, you guys can create something epic. And not even your sound, but your chemistry, too. Because chemistry yeah, it is a chemistry key. thing. It For is sure. a chemistry thing too. That's the chemistry thing. So, so with that being said, um, you know, artists, you definitely want to find a producer slash engineer slash mainly an engineer that can provide the sound slash, you know, what the producer does too vibe that you want to sound like for sure um for sure. and that's like a major key so you need and to come to me is what he's saying like, basically <laughs> yeah, that's basically what i'm saying no nah, like, real you, shit you, you come to the gym y'all get a good vibe you need to stick with him because what happens is you'll go to fucking the biggest studio in the world and then you'll be like yo i want that auto tune right where jump puts it. and their interns fucking engineering and their interns engineering <laughs> and you're like fuck i just went i just paid fucking 190 dollars an hour and no bullshit yo I know artists that went out to L.A., right? <laughs> went into, like, big studios and shit. They calling me, like... Yo, how that auto-tune work? Yo, yeah, what's your auto-tune setting? I'm like, bruh, I don't... Yeah. It ain't no fucking setting, bro. It's the key to beat. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's no it. And if you don't know how to do that, then... I'm sorry, I don't but know. But that's how I get, though. So, basically, yeah. that's that's key number one. Mm-hmm. You know, um, You know... Basically, formulate your own sound. Find as soon as you formulate your own sound, keep that producer. And I love when, I love when somebody comes up here with a producer too, because when they're building together and shit, right. you know what I'm saying? Because right. they're finding their own sound, you know right. what I'm saying? And and it's like a team effort, and it's it's a vibe. There's nothing like a, a producer artist vibe, right. you know what I'm saying? There's nothing like it. So that's the thing. Producer sure. artist vibe is a thing, and maybe that's where M where M went wrong too. Like maybe he needs to. Remember, well, see, M was creating his own beats. Right, he was, and he still is. But he was, but who was his producer? Who was his producer? Dre. Dre, of course. Dr. But, Dre, man. The but he doc. was. He, but Dr. See, Dre made Slim Shady. You Dr. Dre made a few cuts on this thing, I think. I'm too. sure he probably did. I'm sure he but, probably did. But 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 there's nothing like the beginning, man. Yeah. When when y'all catch that rhythm and fucking when y'all catch that rhythm and it's something different. Like yo, you, you, that's how you shoot your shot. That's how you shoot yeah your man. shot. Yo, I'm like dying, but it's okay. We're gonna you keep going. Hot. <laughs> He's <laughs> mad. You got a checkmate shirt on under there. You know what I mean? I actually do. Yeah, I know. I knew it. <laughs> that's another thing too. We want to get we want to get some merch out there too. So like that's what I want to do these contests for too. Not only for studio time. Like maybe we'll do like a runner up. Right. You know, and uh, maybe two runner-ups and give them some shirts and shit like that. You know Absolutely. Definitely merch is coming out soon. I'll definitely have some merch from you guys. Uh, if not, if you want to just get the merch, teespring.com forward slash checkmate TV, you can get all the merch. Mm. That's for sure. But um, also, okay, so lyricism, not dead. You can uh, still do lyricism while you create a song nowadays that's create, what it is yeah and create melody, melody. and cadence um, <clears throat> it, but it's like so weird though because I feel like if you could create a melody you can't you're not a good lyricist it's like I don't know why that ever was but I feel like that's been that nah, way I mean and I, I feel like the only person that could do that is Drake Drake and Ye maybe I never considered Ye a lyricist <laughs> he said some wild <laughs> shit though <laughs> Ye, said, Ye has, has had some bars Ye is just my vibe yeah. <laughs> so who you, So who you think you got somebody you have somebody that you think is going to take it there in like 2020, 20, this decade maybe or they're probably not out yet. Okay, so let me break down everybody for you real quick. 
Because I don't the know. Best, I don't know if there's one right, out right now. I, I I got you. So the best person, I I would have to say under Drake with melody and lyricism would have to be J Cole. See yeah. the thing about J Cole is. He, Technicalities again. I like to get technical. He has the same melody on every song, I feel like. Yeah. But it's just amazing. And it's not like an auto tune vibe either. It's not like an auto tune vibe it's either. More like it's like a just 50, amazing. old 50 vibe. If it's I like, can. just like, just like, it's, it's just right there. Yeah. It's, and it's, it's just a, like yeah. amazing. I like that shit. And he talks about what I like. Um, you know, and it's just like, I, I think J. Cole is literally the epitome of, you know, not using too much auto tune. But, but still I, but I think melody. also you could win, you could you could still be considered like one of them lyrical type rappers, but not have the best lyrics, but still have melody too. Like, because right, so like, I don't like, consider oh, J. Cole to be like the best lyricist. We got to, so, but he's in that category. We're gonna look at us like you know I'm crazy saying? if we're not talking about Kendrick. So I'm gonna just get yeah, 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 down well, yeah. All right, sure. so let me break down Kendrick. For and you. Kendrick said. I am a sinner who's probably going to sin again. again. <laughs> like, he oh, was saying he got the me. melodies too, boy. Like, and that's my that's one of my favorite albums of all time. All right, too. so oh, let's, let's break down Kendrick. I have to be harsh here. I love you, Kendrick. But I have to be harsh. <laughs> I got to be real. I can't not be me if I don't be real. Now, Kendrick Lamar. Once again, chopping syllables too fast for me. Not a big fan. But... I love what he got going on. There's a few songs that I love from him. He just hasn't had a few projects. Lately. I think he's I got love from I think him. he's got something cooking up. Dude. Um Kendrick is by far I will recognize him as the top 3 4 in the game for sure. Yeah. If facts. not 2 or 3. Um that is that but at the end of the day like I said f- rapping fast doesn't make you a lyricist to me. Um, yeah, I agree with that. Bro. I that's like a, that's metaphors. A good point. That's a good point. I like metaphors. Um, mm-hmm. You know, one thing I do like about Kendrick, though, he'll take you underwater. He'll take you with a high voice, a low voice, octave high, octave low. And that's that. Um, and that's that producer, uh, producer, engineer to chemistry. To that's that chemistry again. Like they created their own sound Absolutely. with two people. In the even studio. though I think that's for. That's one case sensitive scenario where I think that's mostly Kendrick. But Maybe. at the end of the day, shout out to Probably the top. Probably so. Though. Probably so. Shout out to the top. But it's though. still a sound. It is at a sound. At the end of the day, that he didn't sound. go on YouTube and find. Nah, he, he didn't find that sound that on shit. YouTube. He created that shit and that shit is popping. Shout out to Kendrick. And it's not even popping. But it's not even popping because no one else fucking does it except for him. No one can do that. Right. Shoot your, Shoot your shot, fucking shot, dickhead. dickhead.